Welcome back to this channel. In this lesson, we'll talk about the sweep command. How and when can we use this command? We use a sweep command to sweep an object through a path. And this object can be arcs, circle, ellipse, elliptical arcs, lines, trace, 2D pull lines and the salts. And the path can be also an ellipse, arcs, circle, elliptical arcs, line, and also can be helices and 2D and 3D pole lines and spline. Let's now give an example and see how this uh, command work. Basically, to use this command, we must have two things. First one is the object and second one is a path. We just use uh, the, the basic one here. I will uh, first use this one as a path and I will just here make a... Make a an object right right here and uh, be in mind that uh, i am doing this object in a z axis so i have already done this uh, path in a right position so let me activate the command with this uh, sweep and then uh, select the object this one here give enter now uh, when i give the enter i have here some option twist scale base point and uh, Lineman. We can go through all of them, but at this time, we just uh, go by the standards. So just uh, select the path, this one here. As you can see here, so we have a uh, sweep uh, command done. So this is uh, kind of just see, so you can see very well here. This is kind of a box. Now let's go uh, through the options when we activate these commands. I will uh, again make here another uh, circle right down to this path and uh, I will activate the command and then select the object and then give enter now I go to the option here I'll start with scale which is uh, more simple so when I go to the scale by default uh, the scale is 100% or 1 as you can see here so the base one of this uh, um, is the same on uh, the top radius so the base radio is equal to top radius but in when we use a scale we need to define a scale factor so which is uh, by default one but we'll just here put 0 0.6 enter mean that uh, i will have at the hand the radius at uh, minus 60 percent let's see what happened so click there then you can see there right so we have uh, the scale factor reduce to 60%. Let's just see here, go back and we'll uh, also do it again. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, select and then enter. Now go to the scale and then I will put here 0 0.5, then give enter. Now let's go there again. As you can see here, so we have this uh, reduction, right? We start at uh, 100% and then was going down to 5 or 50%. Let's now use another uh, option. At this time, I will use a, a twist. Select again the command. Select the object. Give enter. Now we go to the twist. So be in mind that when we use a twist here, we need to use a, a angle that we want to twist. And as you know, um, one full turn is equal to 360 degrees, right? So, but uh, right here, so we have a, a 360 degree, which is a complete turn. That's why they are circular. But here we want to twist. I mean that we need to define how many turn we want to give in our object. I'll just here uh, define like uh, three turn. I mean that I'm gonna multiply three times 360 which is 1080 and then enter now i come here click wait a little bit so we here we have a, a twisted at uh, 1080 degree uh, twist if i go back and uh, use another angle let's just here click and then times go again to the twist and then we define here angle uh, let's see we can just here make a quick calculation just come right click in your mouse and then it goes to the quick calculation and then we'll open this 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 here so uh if i put here 
360 times 5, enter, will be equal 1 800, right? So I'm just put this mouse there. And then uh, let me go down and then it goes here to 1800 and then give enter. So it will be a little bit different comparing to the, to the previous one. Okay, so as you can see, we twist, it is even more twisted. So that's the way we use a twist. Now let's go again to another uh, one. So by default, when we use a closed object, we will uh, obtain, so we'll have as a result, a, a solid shape. When it is an open object, we'll uh, get by default a surface. But when it is closed, we can get both closed and uh, surface object but when it is open by default it is only possible to get a surface uh, object let's just here give an example to see how it looks like so this time i will use a helix come here click the helix and then i'm gonna uh, make right there define the base point we'll just put here 10 and also 10 i want to be like the same and then give the height i'm gonna put here the height uh, okay 13 it is good then enter. Now I need to move uh, the object, which is on here, move the objects from this center to this end point, then click there. So now let me go to the sweep, select the objects, give uh, enter, now select the, the path. So as you can see here, so we, we had made the spring and the spring by default is, as you can see, it is solid, right? So you can see here, so this spring, it is uh, solid. Now, let me give the same example using uh, Alex, but in this uh, open object. Let's go again to the helix and uh, I'm gonna define here the base point and then also give, uh, I'm gonna use it this time eight and also eight. Now give the height. I will go, okay, 16 this time. Now, let me move by coming here. Give enter. Move from this center to this end point. Okay, this there. Now, let's go to the sweep. And then select the object, which is on here. Give the enter. And then it goes to the path, this one. So as you can see here, so we have a surface object, right? Let's just uh, change here from uh, realistic. I think realistic, it's better view, realistic. Right, so it's the same, right? And uh, you can see here, this one, a kind of, you know, this one here uh, ha is, you know, in a um, surface, as you can see, so it is, it is open and here it is closed solid one so that's the way we 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 use this one here now let's give now now another example uh this time so we can also use a, a multiple uh, twist right so we can also like use uh, uh, two or more objects and a twist at the same times how can we do that we'll just come here to the uh, circle we'll just uh, change to two points and then i'm gonna use right right here this and the point and then define here the, the radius mm -hmm. so we just put 1.5 and then i'm gonna do one again but i want to do more than one and we'll just make sure to make at the, the right point what will be also right there okay right right here okay and then uh, 1.5 as well 1.5 then give enter now i'm gonna do one more and it's gonna be in the intersection 1.5 done so now i'm gonna use here the sweep activate the command select the object always from from right to left and then give enter now go to the twist we also define the angle as we have already uh, learned. So we put the 1080 and then enter. Now goes to the path. This one here. You can see here. So we, we have done this kind of uh, rope 
concept also electrical wire concept right so that's the way it is and we can also turn to see very well so as you can see so that's you know they are fully tied to each other you know wire cable or rope so that's the concept that's the way we use and uh we have here so another one here now we, we can use another option as as we saw in the sweep at this time so we're gonna uh, activate the command sweep and then go to the objects this one here and then give enter now we're gonna use the alignment so we're gonna give the alignment so they give me two options yes or no so click there and you're gonna see here here uh, alignment object uh, will ask you do you want to align your object perpendicular to the path you're gonna say yes or no i'm gonna say at this time no i don't want perpendicular in this case click there i'm gonna have you know with the angle so as you can see they are not perpendicular so uh let's just move to this side you can see here you no know, the 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 edge of this one is not perpendicular to the to the to the other one so they're not aligned now i'm gonna use the same one uh, so now in this example here and at this time i will click yes i want to be like perpendicular aligned so i'm gonna go to the sweep and then select the objects give enter now let's go again to the alignment and then uh, uh, yes align sweep object perpendicular to the path before sweep yes before sweep yes and then come here now see what happened so as you can see here i'm gonna give here you can give the color to all of them right as uh, we have already learned in the previous lesson i'm gonna put this one here um let's see red good this is red and this one i'm gonna put in the color different color just to to justify and here i'm gonna put in the color okay and also here i can also put different color like this one and also this one okay so now i can come here to this and then put different color just to have a good look right a good looking and uh, we can see very well the the difference because they are white black and uh, you cannot see very well so i'm gonna put here okay now so they are in a uh, in color as you can see uh this one here you know they are perpendicular right to the base and, and this one it is not so they are the same angle as we had at the beginning so that way we use a, a sweep command i hope you like and please don't forget to subscribe to, to this channel like if you like and also uh, see you to the next lesson